All right, you guys made it. You're to the fun lesson where you get to make a sticker. Now listen, a couple disclaimers here. If you have not practiced quite a bit with the pen tool, then you need to go back and do the lesson before this and make sure that you're pretty good with the pen tool. All right, another disclaimer. Um, make sure that your neighbor's not distracting you, that you're focused in and you're following me pretty closely on this because there's a lot of ways that you can mess up in here and just not get a good sticker. So. That said, let's get going. Okay, the first thing you need to do is figure out what you want a sticker of. Um, so it can be anything. I'm just going to do um, Spartan Helmet. So I'm in my Chrome browser. I googled Spartan Helmet. I'm going to go to Images. And I'm going to refine my images. I'm going to go to Tools. And I'm going to sort them by, I want black and white images. And I want large images. All right, so let's give me some pretty good options here. Um, a couple things here. So your image, um, you got to imagine it being a sticker, and this is made out of vinyl, and the machine's going to cut around all these little lines and cut the outline of your sticker. So. Um, there's a couple time, a couple things that will make you run into problems. One is um, if it's too detailed and you try to do too much detail. So um, here I have an example. Um, this one has too much detail, too many small little lines that come to fine points. This would be, first off take a long time to outline and second off it would be really hard to remove all these little spots and to remove in here cleanly. So I would avoid anything that gets too busy. The one right of this is a much better example of something that you could do. Not nearly as many details and uh, the only thing I'd worry about is right here that it's getting too thin. But if you blow it up large enough and the thinnest part is bigger than a sixteenth of an inch then you're okay. Well I'd say an eighth of an inch actually. So that little thin part there if it was bigger than an eighth of an inch, you'd be okay. And our stickers can be um, six to twelve inches, so you should be okay with something like that. All right. Anyways, you go through and find something that you would like to outline. Uh, I like this image here. Okay. I clicked on it. In the view here, I'm going to right-click and copy it. You could also save it. I'm just going to hit copy. You're going to open up Adobe Illustrator and you want to create a new one that is a custom size. So you click on custom and if it says points right here, just change that to inches. We want ours to be 12 inches wide and 6 inches tall. Say create. I'm going to hold an alt and scroll and zoom out just so you can see it's 12 inches wide and 6 inches tall. It's important that you have that right. Okay, this is going to represent the area, the basically the size of our vinyl. The vinyl is 12 by 12, but you're going to be able to use half that sheet. And you can do one big sticker in here, or you can do two stickers. So it's up to you but they'll be pretty decent sized stickers. Okay, now that I have this open, I can paste my image in by hitting Control and V. First you gotta click inside and then Control V. All right, now if I go to resize my image, it might get distorted. So if I just grab it here and start shrinking it down, can you see how it got distorted? The way to avoid that is hold in Alt and then click on a corner and shrink it down. Okay, and you can still adjust it, like, I'm like, huh, eh, I do want that a little wider. You can pull it out and adjust things. Okay, and get it where you want it. One thing you don't want is for your image to be larger than this area, like that. And you don't want it to be like the exact same size as it either. Give it a little bit of a buffer, so you don't want it like that. Okay. So I'm going to put my image in here. 
All right, so you can have one image here and another image here, or you can do have one big image. It's up to you. Or you can duplicate this one. But for now, just get your images in there. And then you need to go in and um, first reset your toolbar. So you go to the little three dots down here and go up here to the right. There's three lines and say advanced. So you have more options in your toolbar. You also need to add another layer. So on the bottom right, if you hover over this right here, it says create new layer. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, so you need to be aware of which layer you're on for this. Um, we want to be on the layer that we just created, which is layer two. And you could rename it cut layer. So we have our cut layer and our image layer. All right, get to this point and then um, follow along with the next video.